You can't uh, wash your hair, you can't get your hair wet. Very upsetting. Water okay. is like number one priority for hair growth. Hello everyone, Sephora here. Well, with Erta as well. So today is Monday. Happy Monday. Happy hair day. I just finished removing uh, my twist that I've had for two weeks. I just want to say it's I'm really trying to not care about how it looks and try to find ways to find a hairstyle to for it to look nice even after two weeks. But to be honest, for me it's very very difficult every time because I like it when it's neat. But after even like three days my twists are not really that neat so it's a bit annoying to be honest with you but um well i keep i still keep my twists because i know that it means low manipulation for me for my hair and with low manipulation comes less breakage uh comes less nuts i lose less hair so i really like it when I managed to keep low manipulation hairstyles that are protective styles for a long time. So the longer, the better. I still hydrate a lot. So that's what I wanted to talk about today because I think it's so important. I think it was such a revelation when I realized that hydrating my hair was important. I think that's when that and a few other things, but hydrating is so 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 important i didn't realize that before because the way i was uh, brought up was to tell me with this kind of hair so with kinky hair you can't uh, wash your hair you can't get your hair wet very often otherwise it shrinks otherwise uh, it breaks your hair gets dry and your hair doesn't look nice so don't um, use any water on your hair use water very rarely so I was told yeah only wash your hair once a week and whenever possible even longer don't make sure that you don't get any any water touch your hair the more you get your hair wet the more you give it a chance to grow because you're moisturizing it so by moisturizing it you're giving the perfect um, conditions for your hair to grow and I didn't know that before it's basically like a plant that needs a lot of water but if you feed your hair with everything it needs which is loads and loads of water and then making sure that it's protected to retain this water then no reason for it not to grow so since I understood that I'm getting my hair wet every day if i can or every two days that's the ideal which is why it's so annoying when i do twists and you know the base this base that becomes like a little carpet when you wash it well not when you wash it when you uh, put water on it and then on top of it you put some uh some shea butter or some castor oil to seal in the water and then you've got this after a while it just makes a whole like just in one piece obviously now I've removed it I just wanted to show you as well my hair as it is so that's after two weeks of um, two weeks of twists so I just removed it I don't know if I'm the only one in this case but it re it's really annoying. I'm really proud of myself once I've managed to keep the twist for two weeks. But it's so annoying for the two weeks. I really look I really feel like I look like shit, to be honest with you. I managed to find, you know, to attach my hair in a bun or even, you know, do like banana styles and stuff like that. It's not that bad, but it's just not neat enough. And I feel like I've been so brought up to think that only super neat is acceptable and looks professional or not even professional but looks sexy and stuff that if it's not like that i really freak out inside but i still do it because 
I want my hair to grow. So, and so far it's actually worked. Before, before I, um, I shaved my head and then when I grew it back, I was only using natural products and not putting any, any shampoo, any sulfate, any paraben, anything like that in my hair. Before that, I really thought, okay, I'm, I'm doing a good job and I'm relaxing my hair and all of that. And even with all the treatments, with all the super, what are supposed to be really super good hairdressers, <coughs> I never got my hair that long. And to me, it's not, it's not that it's that long, it's that it's much longer than it's ever been before in my life. And I'm 29, so it's like, how come I never managed to get hair like that? Well, the technique I was using was just off, clearly, because not getting your hair wet, so not moisturizing, and using a hell of a lot of products that promote hair growth and all of that, but actually all it does is break your hair, get your hair addicted to the same substance, but then it still breaks your hair, either from the roots, so um you're losing a lot of hair or directly like it just dries up your hair and it's shit so yeah for that all of that didn't work the only thing that works so far is moisturize a lot with something super cheap and super that you, anyone can find as water and sealing the the moisture of the water with some good old my go-to anyway is shea butter and castor oil. Two mixed together is just the perfect combination for me. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow again for skin day. A lot of things to say about skin as well. So I'm very excited about that. And you can tune in again next Monday. I'd love to know what you use, what uh, you feel is very important for the growth of your hair. I feel like water is like number one priority for hair growth. Like without moisturizing, there's no hair growth. Like it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Dry hair doesn't grow because it breaks. That's how I understand it. If you want to subscribe because you know you like my videos, do press on the like button, do subscribe, and I'd be really happy to share more videos on different subjects with you. And yeah, see you soon. Until next week, I hope you do moisturize your hair a lot and that you are loving your hair. The more you love your hair, the more your hair will give you back, I think. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye.